Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to Prison Architect. Oh, here we are, in the Gulag, with James McKenzie. Violent di well, he's got not much of a, an interesting biography. Is there someone around who's a bit better? What's you? Assaulting an officer? Come on. Eh? Where's, where's me old mate? There he is, there's Carhill. Old Tag Wolf, chilling out. Doing a bit of running. Well, not really running. They move very slowly around the prison yard, but I'm assuming that's because it's like zero degrees Celsius out there. So they're just like shiveringly walking about like, oh, geez, it's so cold. And then they get back inside and they're like, oh yeah, sweet, no worries. It's all toasty in here. Because some nice warden put around a bunch of radiators. Isn't that right? Isn't that nice? Yes. Now, um, this common room, I think, um, needs some power before we go too much further today. We did, you know, mostly well, but I think we just need to, you know, complete out a few bits and bobs here. And I think there's a heater there? Yeah, there is. Okay, so, and then, is it, is it here? Does that connect up? I guess we'll find out. We can also run one over and down there and get a little loop-de-loop-de-loop -loop -loop going on, which is fine. Now, I wonder... I wonder if we need to, uh... Hmm. I wonder if we need to have... Because this corridor has these big jail doors, right? And they're kind of open to the world. I wonder what would happen if I then went, right, well, let's put a door here just to, like, keep the heat in to that section and then have maybe some here as well and, like, one there and there um, just so that these doors don't allow all of the heat to blow out. Although, I mean, when we look at the temperature, these windows aren't doing us any favours. It's 15 degrees in the cells, which is a bit low. I wonder if we should dismantle... Uh, I don't want to dismantle the windows. They're kind of necessary. But I don't then want to have to... I mean, do I have to put a heater into everyone's room? Is that what I have to do here? Because I kind of don't want to do that. That seems a bit wasteful. But... We may have to do that eventually if we want to keep the temperature up to the correct level. I'll tell you what. Um, instead of pondering, let's know. Oh, well, we can't know yet because we need a psychologist. We need to know what the needs of these guys are. So I'll tell you what. Let's, um... Hmm. Let's... I don't want to put the psychologist out here in the low security area. Right, because... You, you do want your prisoners to come and visit them. So let's do it. Let's do... Like... I guess like this. Where we can... Have the corridor extend to here. And then we'll have some... 7x7... Seven seven rooms... For our dudes. And then... I wonder, one, two, seven by seven, that's seven by eight, seven by seven, seven by seven, seven by seven, seven by seven, seven, by seven. Uh, and let's extend this a little bit so that it comes down to here. So let's have two offices for psychologists, a corridor, and then one, two, three, four visitation rooms. Not visitation rooms, sorry, parole rooms. Let's get some parole uh, rooms set up and that way we can, um, yeah, we can get cracking on getting these guys churned and burned and released into the greater community. How does that sound? I think that sounds good. We might move this door internally as well. Pardon me, once that's up and running. So let's uh, get some foundations down, building brick, and we want to... Uh, I want to have a go like this. We want to have a go like this. And like this. And I'm going to run the risk and do this so that it demolishes that wall. And hopefully doesn't leave this, you know, totally open. But there is a fence here. We do, we do have the ability of, um, you know, locking this down. Speaking of locking this down, staff only. Definitely. Uh, let's go... Staff. Staff, staff. Staff, staff, staff. And you're only allowed in here when you're going somewhere. Access only. So if you need get into reception and then you need to get through to the wider prison, cool, no worries. But you are not allowed to loiter in this corridor. It is off limits. Ooh, and I'll tell you what. 
this chappy here, that's the power supply um, and pumping station room. That can be... Um, yeah. That can be that as well. Huh, what was that? Well, something just disconnected from my computer. I don't know if you guys heard that, but, you know, something went doodle-doo. Anyway, doesn't matter. Something happened, and uh, someone's to blame. It's definitely not me. Um, I'm pretty sure of that. But, I tell you what I am responsible for, is building out this room. And this has come along rather quickly, actually. I'm pretty impressed with this. The boys have done quite a sterling, fast job of bringing this new room online. Here it goes. Hatch pop, lads. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Let's get some electricity running down, and then we'll run it down like this. And I guess we'll put one down this wall as well. That's That, that should be fine. Uh, hot water pipe. Let's have it... Let's have it extend across like this. And then I think we'll have like one here and one here on the insides of these two rooms. Um, just so that I, I, I don't, don't want, I don't want to put the, the, um, heaters on the bottom end of the corridors, because if I then extend those corridors, I'll have to move the bloody thing. So, all right, let's do it this way. Let's go objects, doors. Oh, I better build some walls first. <laughs> That's generally handy. Um, cool. And like that and like this and boom and zip and zang and zibbidi doo da doodly weedly biggity bobbity boo. Just like that. Uh, let's get some uh, some lights in here. That's generally a good thing to have in a in an area like this, so that you can see where you're going and you don't like smash your shins onto a coffee table. Because let's face it, those coffee tables they're always in the wrong location, right? It doesn't matter who you are or what you're doing. When it's dark in the middle of the night and you go, oh, I just I'll just get up and go for a pee. Um, it doesn't matter where you put the coffee table. It doesn't matter how logically you've placed it in the in the lounge room. If you have to go through the lounge room, you are going to find that coffee table with your shins in the middle of the night. That, it's just this is just a force of nature that is. It's just something that happens, right? It's just it is an unchangeable thing in nature. Um, some have tried. Uh, people have researched uh, whether or not coffee tables. Um, are able to be, you know, dynamically moved in the middle of the night, um, or whether or not they, you know, stealthily move in the middle of the night to, to you know, destroy people's shins. But, um, yeah, look, it's just not a thing, honestly. What am I talking about? <laughs> hey, check this out, though. Here's what I'm going to do. I want to use... Uh, so these, these are going to be visitation rooms here, right? Um, so these four tables, I don't want these to be in a visitation room. I don't like... Did I call the parole rooms visitation rooms again? I did, didn't I? I don't want these to be here. I want to use these visitor tables um, that I set up last time. I want them to be set up in the um, visitation room. I want that that long sort of... Co like the, the chain of the glass things with the telephone on them that goes nowhere. That's what I want. That's how I want to run this shop. Um, and down here in the, what are these things called? Parole rooms? Uh, oh, there it is. So we'll just bonk these down like this. Bish, bash, bosh. And then once those chairs have been, or tables I should say, have been uh, disassembled, we shall go ahead and plonk them down into here. Are they disassembled? Two of them are. Let's go objects. So we've got two. Uh, one. Two, and the other two, please, chaps. Maybe start setting some of these booths up as well. Just queue up a bunch of jobs for them. They'll be fine. I'm sure they'll get there eventually. Um, and I put one heater there. I need to put one here as well. Or did I already do that? I don't think I did. Um, um, radiator. Was it here that I wanted? Yeah. Here. ka -ching. Oh, I put one there as well. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Oh my god, that's right. 
the blueprint, uh, yeah, see, that was a bit of an error. The blueprint for the office has a heater in it already, so... Oops. Yeah, bit of an oops. But that's okay. That's cool. Um, so let's, uh, let's wait for this. My god, these boys are moving rather slowly. I mean, I'd prefer it if they could get things done. These chaps are all a little bit upset at the moment, and oh dear. Their clothing is filthy. Alright. So... That's something else that we're going to need to think about sooner rather than later. These offices and parole rooms are slowly building out. Let's also do a bit of planning here uh, with this. And we'll have it come down off... We'll extend this corridor down. Right? And then off that corridor this way. Hmm. That's going to be rather large. But that shouldn't be too bad. Off this corridor this way. I wonder if... You know what? Let's extend this fence. Like this. I'm going... You know, go big or go home is what they say. And here's me going big. Because if I'm going to have a laundry in this place... I mean, this is a gulag, right? It's, it's, it's not supposed to be a pleasant place. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, spiffy. So... Um, here's what we're going to do. This top room is going to be the laundry... This bottom room will be then chopped up into, I mean, maybe a big old workshop or something to that effect. Um, and this section here will become the workhouse. Um, I don't know why I put this corridor here now. Maybe I can strip that out and expand the common room a little bit. It doesn't need to be so pokey. We can make it a bit bigger. But, yeah, that's what we're going to do. This is going to become the workhouse for these chuckleheads. And as this prison wing extends... There'll just be more and more people to come and work in the workhouse. I think that sounds good. So let's go. All right. I don't need to build the whole thing straight up. That's the beauty of this. So what I can do is I can build like this. Build like this. And then... That should do the trick for the first room. So this will just be a big fracking laundry. Right? The corridor will come in. The door will be here. Big, long laundry with... Uh, washing machines and ironing boards all stacked up in here. Sweet. No worries. Down here, that can be built on when it's needed. But at the moment, we don't. We only need this, this one room. That's all we need. Um, did I... I'm sure I put that pipe there. Or is it just one notch? Yeah. It's there. Oh, is it too far for the from the boiler? I think it might be. Bother. Here, um... What about if I extend this to here, like that? Will that be like one or two notches shorter? And it probably will, because this one goes, you know, like one, two, three, four this way. And then there's another four there. So if we go like straight like this, that should actually reach that heater now. Or that radiator, if you'd like to call it that. Cool. Okay, let's do uh, stuff. And let's get a psychologist set up. Ooh, it's blocked. Uh, let's deploy him from the warden's office. Ready? Engage. Oh, wait. That's the wrong series. Um, how would how would Periwinkle talk? I don't know. I think he'd be like a gruff... A gruff, like, drill sergeant. Like, uh, Ali Ermi or something like that. Um, but I don't really have a, uh, a voice prepared for that particular thing. So, I, I think I'll probably just leave it and pretend like... Um, Let's pretend that I did a really good Ali Ermi voice, shall we? Oh, God, that was fun, wasn't it, lads? Oh, great, yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Cool. Um, well, I'm glad that, that we all worked that out. Um, that's fine. Now, let's see. Rooms. Let's get a laundry. There is laundry. Am I going blind? La library. Look, now, just look. <laughs> laundry. Right, so this is going to be the big old laundry here. We need the following items. Laundry machine, laundry basket, ironing board. Okay, objects. Uh, first of all, we need some lights in this room. All right, and we'll have them nicely lined up right down the center of the room, just like that. We're going to have some laundry machines, like this, for four to start with. I think that should be sufficient. Ironing boards. We're going to go like, um, we'll just have them in a big line right down the center of the room. It's probably a little bit inefficient, but I can't remember if they stand on the top 
Let's find out. Do they stand on the top of the ironing board or the bottom? Um, and then a bunch of laundry baskets, which are going to be required for moving stuff about. Um, we're going to need to get some power into here as well. And it'll need to touch those. Which I hope is not going to mean that um, we exhaust this power supply. Let's see how it's doing, shall we? Uh, where is it? It's over here. Okay, it's doing well. We're doing well. We could probably add another couple. But let's see how we get with this... Um, let's see how adding these machines on will impact what we're doing. Uh, we're going to need some... A large pipe, I think, to hit these machines as well. That goes really too close to the wall there. I'm not super thrilled about uh, how close that is to the wall. But that's fine. We'll see how we go. Um... These two apparently still need uh, water, but that's okay. The other two, when they get built in, should do the trick here. Um, and there goes one. And when the other one goes in, we'll get two. Now, let's see. Do we have all of the prerequisites to put people to work? I think... Ooh... Ooh. Okay, let's get that one researched out. We've already paid for it, so we might as well just research it. Um, the security guy, I think... I think we we'll probably... We we'll probably hold off on doing anything else just at this stage. Dogs might be a, probably a good idea, but we'll hold off. I want to keep the money that we're, um, we're accruing. Yeah, see these? Cannot be reached. These ones. Okay, so... Objects. Dismantle. These. And we'll cancel these two. And then... Oh, bother. Alright, let's try... Let's go like this. One, two, three, four. And then... Let's dismantle this, 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 and cancel that one. And we'll notch these up by one. So they stand on the bottom, which is really kind of awkward. It means that on a five-wide room like this, I'm kind of, you know... I could put them this way, I suppose. That would have been a good idea, Lee. <sighs> oh, well. We've committed now. We're going to put them this way, right across here. Um, do you know what? We can fit them in here as well. Beauty. Alright. I think that should be the extent. I think we should... Oh, we've still got two. Alright. Or is that that one? Does that count as one? Put one there as well. Alright, great. Um, these laundry machines still need water, apparently. So let's... Um, do I need to put a pipe through them? Is that how this works? I guess we'll find out. And let's stick a door on the front of this room. Just like that. We'll keep these dudes inside the room when they're, uh, when they're underway. When they're doing their work. Um, and I would like now to uh, assign... 26 jobs. Isn't that delicious? Um, and there's 7 and 8 jobs over here as well. So I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Right? And we'll get 7 jobs here and 8 jobs here. Now I know that we don't have that many prisoners. Uh, which is fine. You know, there's not going to be enough people to do all of this stuff. But that's cool. Because what we can do now is go into... Ah, oh, look, now that we've got our psychologist... Yeah, clothing, super bad. Super duper bad. But that's okay, guys. We've got the laundry online. All you need to do now is in work time, go out there and do some work and get it done. Which means it's now time to get this sort of stuff lined up. So what I like to do... I like to have the eat time in the middle of the day. And then one, two, three, four. Okay. So let's go... One, two, three, four, work free time. Then we have an eat here. Then we have a yard time. Then we have one, two, three, four, eat, lock up, sleep. Right? Really basic, really simple. Generally gets you under, you know, under control for the time being. Oh, those visitors tables. That's right. It generally gets you under control um, and allows you to sort of, you know, Get the get the basic stuff running. So let's uh, let's come. What was that? Was that a shower head? I didn't want that. I want these guys. Boom, lovely. And the visitors' booths. 
We want these suckers completed out like this. Boom. Lovely. I want this door dismantled. I want this window dismantled. I want someone to be positioned here more often than not, I have to say, but that's fine. Um, let me open that for you, boys. No? Okay. So, dismantling this door, and then we'll uh, add this brick wall back in. But actually, before we do the brick wall, let's probably um, plan out this large door to go in yonder. And this brick wall, like that. Right? Right. So we'll have have it marked up so that these boys, when they need to get into visitation, they're going to come in through here, which should hopefully keep a bit of temperature in. Let's have a look at our um, let's have a look at our temperature in that area. That's yeah, pretty good. 20 degrees. Alright, but you can see here around these doors, you get this bloom of cool, cool stuff. I wonder if, I mean that we might, we might need to build in some airlocks of some description to keep the warm air into the prison. But that's something we can... What are you doing out here? You should not be out here, mister. I don't know how you managed to... Actually, I... I'm reckoning. He's been here, he's been mopping, and he's just osmos through a wall, perhaps? That does happen from time to time. What are you doing? You get searched. Aha! A lighter. What's this guy got? Hey, Richardson? Where are you going? You get... No, go into lockdown. I'm not thrilled about you being out in this area of the prison. I'm not sure why. I changed this out so that... Oh, bloody hell. This again. It always does this. Whenever you... I, I'll just have to keep remembering that every time I expand, it resets the outside. It just, it just stuffs it up, which is kind of irritating, but what can you do, right? It's just par for the course. Um, yum, 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 yum. Right, so you need to get out of that area as well. I, I won't lock him up. I'll just, I'll tell you what, we'll just mark this guy to get searched. And this guy can be searched as well. And then hopefully, now that they're in a staff only zone, They'll get picked up and dragged back to their cell, which is where they should be. Uh, it, I, I don't understand how these guys keep toddling out there and going... Da, da, da. Anyway. Alright, is anyone actually... I mean, this is starting to sound rather bad in here. It's starting to sound rather, you know, riot -y. Let's see, how are these boys doing for needs? Comfort? Hmm. Generally want to feel comfortable physically and emotionally in many ways, and you can have a little bit of family visitations, hot showers, and simply making sure they have somewhere to sit. Well, they have both of those things. Or all of those things, I should say. They have hot showers. Visitation is, is marked as, you know, that should be fine. Oh, wait, do I need to... Uh, programs. First of all, let's get... Kitchen safety and hygiene. Because I want people to work in the kitchen. Always good. Um, let's have a look at parole hearings. Boom. And let's have two, three, four of those. It, from six to ten. No. I want those um, to fall into this work-free period here. Like that. Yep. And kitchen safety can go there. That should be fine. Uh... Yeah, okay, good. Happy with that. That should do things nicely. And I don't think there's a... Um, I don't think there's anything for visitation. It should just happen. Um, Alright, no one's working in the laundry yet, which is a bit of a... What are you doing out here? Get searched, buddy. Buddy. Pal. You know my pal, buddy. Um, Let's search that guy up. Psychologist is doing his thing quite nicely. Let's get these parole rooms kicking. So, and by, let's, well, let's get parole rooms, the laundry and all that sort of stuff kind of lined up at the moment because we've got everyone deployed, like, everywhere, right? So if you look at patrols, there's these two, three patrols. Um, and then guards, there's one dude stationed out here the whole time, which is not nice, honestly. We want to change this so that it looks more like 
our regime. So our regime, if we have a look, right? So uh, let's go work free time goes like this. So this can be work free time, right? And then eat time can be two. And then yard time can be three. And then it's one. And then two. And then the rest of the time. Should I should I do a lockup patrol? Uh, four. One, two, three, four. No. I don't know if this is strictly necessary, but let's do it. Do it all the same. All right. So let's uh, get rid of that. Get rid of this guy. And patrols that we have so far, gone, gone, gone. Right. Probably didn't need to delete those in hindsight, but that's fine. So guards. So work free time. I want someone. No, I want someone here, and here. One in the cleaning cupboard, and I guess. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that happened rather quickly. What's going on? Where are the deaths? Oh my god! How did these guys die? Overdose. Oh, for Pete's sake! All right. Shakedown. I'm assuming there's a whole bunch of drugs in this place, and I'm not sure where it's gotten in from, but we'll check that in a moment. Oh, damn it. Well, look, if you're stuck in a horrible place like this, you're going to do some drugs. Let's face it, if you can get your hands on it, you're going to get stuck in. Maybe that means that I should get pharmacological treatment, um, like the drug addiction treatment thing. That might be a good thing to get uh, lined up. Because I don't want to lose too many people to that because it does really... I mean, I, I mean, it's sad that people die, but it also affects our cash flow. And I don't want to lose my money. I like money. Money's good. It's good for you. Anyway, these guys have died. That's sad. Um, shit. All right, well... Two dead bodies, one in lockdown. Oh, God. All right. I'll tell you what. Let's get our deployment finished up. All right, so let's work free time. This is eat time. We want two people in the canteen for eat time. This is yard time. We want two people in the yard for yard time. Work time, eat time, lock up time. So in lock up time, I want patrols in here like this. Schedule four only. Good. So that should do the trick. That should keep things under control. Um, now, here's what we're going to do. Let this roll, uh, this shakedown uh, complete. And next episode, I think it's going to be fairly important for me to start addressing the drug problems in this place. So we've done our search. We've done our checks. Let's have a look and see if we can figure out where these drugs are coming from. It's probably this idiot. And then... I think we really need to consider setting up a um, an infirmary so these guys can be treated for what ails them. I think we can probably nestle it just in here, honestly. We'll just pop a wall across like this. The door can be on this side because this is a, you know, this is a secure area down here. Um, and we can just pop in a nice infirmary where guys can be brought when they get stabbed or overdose. So what is it? <gasps> Someone's got a rope? Where is that? Oh, jeez. That's a concern. That's the first time I've seen one of these. All right. Maybe we should have done a contraband check earlier. But that's fine. You live and learn. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I don't know why this shakedown isn't completing. There's still two places, apparently, that need to be searched. But if I look on the map, I can't seem to see them. So maybe they're... No, oh, look, let's just... Turn that off. That'll be fun. Um, friends, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and the deaths therein. But look, it's prison architect, right? <laughs> this this sort of thing is going to happen. It's just going to happen. The temperature is still rising. The temperature is still falling. People are going to get upset. Anyway, friends, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.